slightly. Slightly better. Can you continue the... Yeah, sure. So, could you describe more about the KJ? How long already you have this KJ? For the past few months, I've been having it on and off. Um, and it's usually in the early morning. It's very painful. Uh, one side, like over the right side, and um, sometimes it, I just have to skip my work because uh, I couldn't concentrate. It's very disturbing. Yeah, the pain is. Uh, yeah, it's sometimes really unbearable. So, what you usually do to relieve the pain? I will try to sleep, and sometimes I will take some painkillers. Uh, it do help after a rest, some rest, but um, after a uh, few days, sometimes, sometimes weeks, and then it will come back again. Okay. Have you have you visited any doctor? Have you seen any doctor before this? Uh, no, I'm just visiting the so this uh, is, pharmacy. This is the first time after a few months, lah. Yeah. Okay, I understand. So you see, just now the headache was on the right side. Usually it happens in the morning. And usually after that, something similar to the headache. So, uh, can I know what you work for that? I'm a teacher. You're a teacher. Okay, so do you have any past medication? I mean, before this, do you have any medication? No. Okay, are you taking any, any drugs, any medications? Uh, it's just a painkiller, and I'm not on any regular medications. Sorry to ask you again, but do you have, do you take any drugs, I mean, do you take any drugs? Oh, no. Uh, no, I'm not a drinker, I didn't take any illicit drugs. Okay. So, besides the KD, uh, do you have any other symptoms like vomiting, uh, let's say, from blurring of the Uh, not that I know of. Mainly it's just the pain. Mm -hmm. Other than that, I think I'm quite fine. Is there any possibility, you know, I Google, I might get some brain tumor or anything because of the pain, it's like for a few months. Yeah, I'm worried if like, there's anything else on inside my brain that, you know, causing me all these symptoms. So usually, if you don't have any, uh, like from information, if you don't have any neurology that fits it, I mean, if you don't have any abnormalities when uh, I say neurology that fits them, then so I don't need to take any event, do any investigation or anything. At this moment, I don't think you need those investigations. Okay. Uh, so I can just go back. And what medication are you giving me? Okay. Any mystery taking? Oh, okay. So, uh, uh, first, after this, I will examine you first, okay? Um, right. We'll see if there is anything abnormal, and we will proceed with the imaging lab. But if uh, there is anything, then we'll, we'll see how, okay, after the examination. No, it's okay. Give a commotion. Yeah, okay. So, um, very complicated. So, I think I'll proceed with the examination. 
picture then you will see what you can do next lah whether you use it any image or not Warning signs, come back step. Yeah. Five minutes. Five minutes. Thirty seconds. This 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 one don't have examination. This is the key. Advice advice to come back step. This is just history. <coughs> I think uh, uh, the part is yang uh, tak is the differential your differential diagnosis. You just want to my brain surgeon. Yeah. Uh, you need to act, you have to have different because uh, from a history it can be this, can be that. So that's why then you have to offer for monitoring and investigation. And then uh, likely admission lah. Uh, the patient will ask you what, why I need to do CT brain, uh, is there anything in my brain, girl, things like that, and then, uh, of course. But uh, offering the investigation means like, for, I mean, like currently the diagnosis is not really like my brain. Ah, uh, yeah, just that we are worried of, uh, so, uh, maybe it can be due to some infection, and then, uh, because I have had anything for the past few months, possibility we have to look whether is there anything in the uh, brain or not so i think usually i think offer ct will be fair la. and then uh yeah because this one the actor is uh he will refuse he will refuse the investigation the actor la, actually he will refuse the investigation that's why I think uh, the issue because I concluded to already. Ah, yeah. yeah. And then you, you just chuck up some tools as well. Yeah, my brain. My brain charger. So offer differential, explain, and then offer treatment and, uh, and investigation. I think that you will have this kind of seven minutes already. Okay. Uh, yeah, next one, what you can ask the patient is Is there anything else in the history that you'd like to tell me that the patient is obliged to them? So after I concluded that, okay, so this is what we're going to do, examination, investigation, then is there anything else? Yeah, yes. Important to summarize what the patient is doing. These marks that you are listening to the patient. Summarize with your intention. Actually, I summarize twice the video. Ah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Still. Okay. 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 Other than that, mostly I think that cover good. Allergies, I don't know. Probably medication. Social history. Social history. This is the allergy, allergy part I didn't ask. Oh, and then you're concerned about the patients. Is this headache causing any problem to you during your daily life, working? Ah, that one you have done. Because you already mentioned uh, Because here it's, uh, it's very stressed in the world, things like that. Other uh, <coughs> than that, that, I think should be okay. So, elicit patient concern uh, about managing work with a headache. Mm, yeah. You don't, don't need that, no simple. Just different shows, actually. Uh, different yeah, different shows. Don't let this change. Dinga 